Once we roll out the clay, it's very important to understand how stiff the clay is, how dry the clay is. This is straight out from the bag. You roll it out, it's got no strength. If I want to build tall, it's just flop. Okay. If you let the piece of slab dry for a few hours under in an airy place or under a fan, it depends how airy your place is. I mean, but as you can see that it's got it's hardened a little bit. That is called the leather stage, the early on leather stage. It got strength when you build up and then it's got the strength to, to build tall. When you're rolling out clay slab, so make sure that you flip and roll in all direction. Keep flipping it and keep rolling in all direction. Pay attention to that, to those trap air. If you do see a bubble trap air, just poke it. Okay. Then you'll get rid of those uh, uh, trap air. So got a lot of lines and creases and all that you can use a spatula just to smooth the clay then you get rid of all, all those markings once your clay slab has dry for a little while and becomes less floppy as you can see here it is got quite a bit of strength then cut out the template and to go and do your tracing on the clay of the flamingo we take one piece here and then use a wooden tool as you can see here put it here at an angle and put your pointy knife at an angle and cut it at 45 degree so that you create a cut like this and then what we do is we do use your scoring tool or just a knife to do a lot of scoring score deep crisscross it what we do is we pick up the piece and curl it a little bit Curl it to the shape that you like. So you can use you can use your rolling pin to to help you to do that. Roll roll it a little bit because your your clay is a little bit stiff now. So you don't want to crack the clay. But we do need the the clay a little bit stiff because then it it does have the strength to stand tall so that's how you do that so use a rolling pin to roll on it and then the other hand curl it so now it's time to join What you need to do is put a lot of slip As you can see inside, there's a big gap there What I need you to do, roll a sausage and then put it in a wet sausage and then use a wooden tool and seal the seam Score the bottom, yeah. Your bottom slab, put this on. 
before you cut it out and look at the shape of the vase that is that the shape that you like you can actually play around with it you push it to become a bit rounder or a bit more flat oval so it's up to you so then you will put it on and use a needle too to, to, to do a bit of drawing and you score and slip A good tap. Then you go and cut that out. Use a wooden tool, hold the tool and move your, your vase and then scrape all the excess of clay away. So inside here, I will I will also like you to put a piece of sausage at the bottom there to to strengthen. Once it. you have done all that, happy with the shape, and then you can use a wet cloth or a sponge to actually clean it. 